Holy Grail. What changed your mind? You're not going to the picnic today? That hurt Mary and the twins. I cannot have that on my heart. Is that so? Absolutely. Look me in the eye and tell me this is the actual recipe. George, what you have in your hand is the exact step-by-step -step instructions on how to make my brisket. I have never written it down until tonight because I was afraid someone might steal it. But I'm entrusting this to you, and I hope that someday, when the time is right, you will see fit to share it with one of your children. Connie, I don't know what to say. Don't call me Connie. Call me Mom. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, son. What a dope. What I want The next morning, my dad embarked on a doomed quest to make the perfect brisket. Can I help you? Matter of fact, you can. I need 12 pounds of prime Angus with a medium deckle, ideally slaughtered in the spring, no later than mid-June. For the spice rub, Meemaw had him drive to New Orleans to buy ground coffee from Café Du Monde and seven ounces of something called Holy Ghost Root from a voodoo woman named Madame Laveau. Could you grind my root for me? I'm, 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 I'm gonna rub it on brisket. Then back home, he applied the spice rub with such erotic tenderness, it made my mother a little jealous. Finally, the cooking began. Fourteen hours of cooking and basting and spritzing and tending to the fire. Until it was finally time to let the meat rest. Rest, my darling. Rest. Mm. This Cafe Du Monde coffee is very good. They make it with chicory. And what does it do to the brisket? Oh, I have no idea. Then. Why did you send George all the way to New Orleans? Well, they don't sell this around here. Mm. Here we go. 15 years and 14 hours later. Best brisket in Texas. Connie, you evil bitch. It's smoother than regular coffee. That wasn't the recipe.